By quarterfinal stage, only two seeds had been disposed of. Taufik Hidiat, the number eight seed, had been beaten by Simon Santosa, his Indonesian teammate, and Tiamin Nguyen, the number seven seed. He fell to Jan Jorgensen, the Dane. By semi-final stage, two Chinese players, one Malaysian, the world number one, Li Chong-Wei, and of course Simon Santoso, who continued his giant killing route through to the semi-final. But both the Chinese players prevailed. The top half of the draw, Lin Dan, defeating Li Chong-Wei, the world number one, in the repeat of the world championship final. So the left-handed Lindan who regained his place this last week at number two on the world ranking had been down at number three but he replaces at number two his opponent of today because the defending champion Chen Wong, the 22-year-old from Xiamen in Fujian province. Well, he had been number two in the world, which is why he is seeded to here at the China Open. Won the title a year ago, beating Bao Chunlai. That was his first ever Super Series title here 12 months ago. Tall man is Chen Long, very powerful athlete, strong legs, great mover around the court. But Lin Dan, the left-hander from Fuzhou in Fujian province, 28 years of age now, Olympic champion in Beijing, four times world champion, including earlier this year. Saved two match points in that final against Li Chongwei. Asian Games gold medalist, four times All England champion, having been in six consecutive finals, really, the list goes on and on. But let's not underestimate this man because Chen Long himself is a fine player. Well, these two players have only played against each other twice in ranking tournaments. Both occasions have been won by Lin Dan. Should have played five times. So, because in the last 12 months, Lin Dan has three times given a walkover in matches in tournaments to Chen Long. So, there is perhaps one or two question marks about his overall fitness. The number of times he has withdrawn. Six times, in fact, in the last 12 months, partway through a tournament. But he is a fine, fine player. No doubting that when he's in good form. And that semi-final against the world number one, Li Chong-Wei. Well, he was 19-17 up in that first game before the Malaysian won four straight points. But what a great start. He got to the second race to six love, and the Malaysian never really recovered from that. And then in the deciding game, it was four all before Lin Dan won 10 of the next 11 points. And 15 minutes that semi-final was, whereas this man will number three. And I can tell you that his win-loss record for the year translates into four titles, including two Super Series, the Japan and the Danish Open. Well, for Chen Long, he's had a much, much easier tournament not one of his matches going the full distance and his quarterfinal against his teammate number five seed Chen Jin and then semi-final against the giant killing Simon Santoso of Indonesia that was pretty good pretty impressive 14 and 14 in just 44 minutes well there the last time that they met the final of the China Masters last year so this is the first time they've met in over 12 months.
uh, court officials for the last of our finals this afternoon. So the former champion, the left-handed Lin Dan, against the defending champion, Chen Long. And of course, seeing these two players train together on a regular basis, on a daily basis, they will know each other's games very well indeed. Absolutely. I think these matches, the closer the Olympic Games get, these matches get more important though. You know, this could well be a medal match in the Olympics, so both players will be keen to try and get some ascendancy in, this, in these situations and build some confidence, try and take the confidence away of the other player before the Olympics arrives. Yes, I think it's very important. I take your point and agree totally, because, I mean, this could determine who's the opposite end of the draw to the world number one. Ling Chong Wei, whoever's number two in the rankings, of course. I think Li Chong Wei, unless he has a disaster, will probably remain at world number one. So far ahead, he is in the world rankings at the moment. But I did think it was interesting in the post-match conference that Lin Dan was saying last night after he had beaten Lee Chong Wei, well, that win to me, he said, is more important than the match tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm sure when the Olympics comes around, he won't want to have to play the two of them. You know, if he's, uh, if he's third, He's going to, because there's country seeding, he's going to be in the opposite half to Chen Long. Therefore, he'll have to play Li, Li Chong Wei in the semi final and possibly Chen Long in the final. And that's a much harder route than being in the opposite end of the draw to Li Chong Wei and having Chen Long play Li Chong Wei in the semi final. Then he only has to play one of them rather than both of them. So I, I still think there's something on this, this match and any other encounters they have this year. Assuming, of course, everything goes to form. You have to say these three this year, with these two with Li Chong Wei yep. have been Outstanding. completely dominant. <laughs> it's a great net exchange. Good touch from low down. Look at that. Super play, super control. Disguise on the drop. I know that last year Chen Long was talking about the fact that his sporting idol was Lin Dan. No, it's a bit odd now that when you play against your sporting idol, how does a how does a player react there? Chen Hing Feng.
does that affect you when you have so much respect and so much regard for your opponent? No, I think Chen Long's grown up a lot over the last 12 months. He wants to win things himself now. I'm sure that aura that, that was around Lin Dan has been broken for him over the last 12 months. I'm sure he feels he can compete on a, on a level playing field with him. Well, he was very, very positive and very explosive in his attacking play yesterday evening against Lee Chong Wei. Looks at the moment to have continued where he left off last night. Battle developing around the net, isn't there? To get yeah. control of that area to create the attacking opportunities. And so far, it's Lindan's touch that's the better at the moment. See it again here. Controlling the tempo of the rallies, isn't he? It's Lindan who's taken the initiative. He's got all the choices. Either to put pace on, take the pace out. That's the danger though with Chen Long. The moment you do lose a little bit of precision and you're a little bit short with your lift, the attack's very potent. That's a great angle and short preparation. And even Lindan couldn't get down to that quickly. Defense. Oh. Oh, well, he wasn't playing trick shots like that against Lee Chong. <laughs> I can assure you of that. Well, he certainly looks in confident mood, doesn't he? Again, he's dictating the rally. He's just making, keeping his opponent late the whole time. Again, great touch on the net. And here's the trick shot. Not for once misses. Lovely 
change of pace. He looked effortless to get behind that shuttle, but he moved so fluently to get behind the shuttle here in the net position. You'll see it so quick to get behind, bring it down. Doesn't give Chen a long time to get organized in his defensive position. And a three point advantage for the number three seed, Lindan. Coaches involved, as with all China China matches. Oh, that's a lovely cross court drop from Chen Long. That's a great angle. Comes down so short in the court. amount of time in the rear court. He's got too much power and precision. And defensive backhand clear, no chance in defense. Yeah, almost looks overconfident, doesn't he, at the moment? is the extraordinary thing about this man. He can play as if he's playing an exhibition match, one rally, and the next rally is absolutely lethal. Just extraordinary. It was a good angle from Chen Long. And then Dan forced to take this very late. But great hands from down there. Controls the racket head. Changes the direction of the shuttle for a clean winner. Yeah. Led the net shot this time. Left no room for it. Sure, it's not a bad. It's not a bad net shot, but he's all over it. Again. Do play a little bit short against Chen Long. The penalty is instant. He was able to intercept that a little bit higher up the court. We see he's a good meter inside the court there. And that gives him the time to find the winner. He's just toying with Chen Long at the moment. And Dan. Uh, it's an 
again from that corner if he's got time. Last time it was the cross court winner. This time it's the straight winner. Just wide. That's a good shot. Stepped in, took it earlier this time. Didn't let the shuttle come to him. And that cut down Lindan's time. Totally missed time that. No, it's a little bit patchy at the moment. One or two absolutely sublime shots and one or two very sloppy ones. that defensive backhand clear. Chen Long's onto it very quickly and finds the winner this time to the centre of the court. It's good variety though. There's one with the cross smash, there's one with the straight smash. Just keeping Lindan guessing a little bit when he does get the attacking opportunities. But it means that Lindan now has four game points. short yeah, disguise throwing in the drop shot rather than the power play the results the same the winner and therefore the opening game for the four times former champion and then down 21 17 and 18 minutes of play good disguise but the it had been woefully short. Look, he's only half court area as he's playing that.
So having won the opening game, 21-17, world and Olympic champion. And the defending champion. What's he got to do to turn this around, Ian? He's just got to keep going. Got to keep going. Lynn Downs played some sloppy, sloppy points. The problem is that when Lynn's that Lynn Downs needed to win points, he's been able to do it. And he just looks in complete control, but... I'm sure Chen Long will just keep it going when he gets the attacking opportunities he's been able to get through. Just got to try and get on that net air and create some more of those chances. But it's a very relaxed Lindan today. As you said right at the beginning, Jill, they'll know each other's games very well. And that's probably more to Lindan's advantage than Chen Long's. Because of his experience? Yes, I think so, yeah. Well, added to the fact he's the better player, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Good example. When he gets time in the attack, he's very efficient and he's got great precision now. Coming back to the point before, Jill, I'm sure Chen Long, a lot of Chen Long's preparation and coaching has been about um, playing Li Chong Wei and beating Li Chong Wei and finding solutions. I'm sure the coaches have put a lot of concentration and effort into, into that um, preparation for those matches for Chen Long. Obviously, nobody will be preparing him to play Lin Dan. Yeah. So. With Lin Dan's experience, it won't bother Lin Dan playing Chen Long, but Chen Long probably hasn't got a clear game plan, and obviously no coach will have ever talked to him about beating Lin Dan. So it's a difficult, slightly more difficult situation for him. And again, that round the head corner is really dangerous. Hold and the flick again. Lindan having to play that defensive high backhand clear. Chen Long, clean winner. Just long. It was an anxious look from Chen Long, wasn't it? Yeah. He looked totally convinced himself as to whether it was in or out. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that again. really 
you see in that rally the amount of court that Chen Long was having to cover. My goodness, he was pushed to the back. He was brought forward, full diagonal of the court. And in the end, just didn't have the legs to get him to that final shot. Singles tactics is very much about trying to outmaneuver your opponent. And that was exemplified quite brilliantly in that rally. Another one that was desperately close. Mm, and again. And it's a good attack though. Got behind the flick serve quickly. And again managed to bring it down very precisely to the line. Good angle, good pace. Good, takes it early, intercepts it, doesn't try and hit it hard, just brings the shuttle down nice and short. Well, he was forced to take it late and didn't fancy the option of lifting the shuttle to the back of the court and therefore went for it. Very ambitious cross court net shot. Yeah, tried it again, once again, forced to take it late, so. Yeah, it's risky playing the diagonal when you're taking the shuttle behind you. Lindan saw it early, got in, took it, took it early at the net, forces Chen, Chen Long to run the full diagonal. At that time. Oh, that is just incredible. What precision on the net play from Lin Dan. To take him to the mid-game interval. Same three-point advantage as he had in the opening game. such precision on the net shots it really does set them up so well well fortunately these replays well that first one was from the opening game so it is that wouldn't mind seeing that last net shot again that was pretty special wasn't it it was it was a super exchange i'm sure chen long thought he'd probably play the winner there but no lindan was equal to it betted it
Oh, oh, that's good, good. backhand. Lovely backhand. I'm a little bit surprised Lin Dan's gone so often to that round the head corner because Chen Long's that's been his most effective weapon in this match. He's hit winner straight, cross and down the centre from there. Oh, that's good precision from the other side this time. Little clip smash, no big swing. It had come back, he was quickly in behind it. And he's managed to close that swing gap. Three point gap on Lindan. It's all level. immediately raises his bracket in apology for his good fortune. Missed it. Goes wide and long. Once the shuttle changed. Chen Long trying to keep the intensity high. It was a good attack, but Lindan had read it this time. I think it is slightly easy to read the direction of uh, Chen Long's attack from this forehand corner. A little bit more deception from around the head, I think. And see another example of it. Gets up early. Flips it down nice and steep. He's just hanging in there, isn't he, Jill? Yeah. He's doing really well. that a little bit wasn't quite in balance was he that's an error that was short he got up took it early I'd be disappointed with that I thought that was an example of Lindan really knowing his opponent. He seemed to have moved to the net there before Chen Long had even played it. Oh, 
well, he knows he's got to play tight to the net and he's trying to play a little too tight and therefore making the error. Oh, that's magnificent. Great angle. Finds the line. Yeah, he just gets behind it so quickly. He's got options. You don't know if that's going straight or cross. Shane Long stuck in the middle of the court. And I certainly read that one. Yeah, and that's why Chen Long has actually made a couple of errors on the net shot because he knows that unless it's absolutely perfect, that's going to happen. Four straight points and all of a sudden, he's got a different feel to the match. Five straight points. And this is why Lindan is such a great champion. Applying the pressure at exactly the right moment. As he did indeed in the semi-final yesterday evening from four all in the deciding game. Ten of eleven points against the world number one. Once again, just applying the pressure. Sensing the moment to up the intensity. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's good shot again. Again, as soon as he's got a little bit of time. Attacks very precise. Drives hard, gets behind the shuttle, brings it down again very steeply. Completely wrong there. Yeah, he got beat with the cross last time. Gambled it was going to be cross again. I think he went too early though. I think Chen Long even saw where Lindan was. Yeah. Frustrated. And Dan didn't play the winner there. Frustrated or disappointed, I'm not quite sure which. to move to all parts of the court, both players. Chen Long again getting behind the shuttle really well. That round the head corner, finding a good, good straight smash down the line, very precise. Well, four straight points now to Chen Long, and just one point the deficit. points to regain his title.
Goes home back there. Didn't leave Lindan space for the second net. Read it this time. 20 all, much to the delight of the crowd. And I think they want to see more of this. They'd love to see a third game. And 20 all, extra points. It is a clear two point winning margin. having a good look at that call he felt it was close and then down very quickly in behind in the attack third match point opportunity now for Lindan Second, he saw Chen Long was coming in anticipating the drop and changed his mind. Well, then Dan wants to towel down, and Paul says no. Samuel Pindasara from the United States of America, the umpire. a very accurate smash straight down the line made the defense of Chen Long very difficult because he was at full stretch so now a fourth match point opportunity and a fourth time it's gone a begging See the great deception there. Very difficult to know if that was going to go straight or cross. Very early preparation, big leap. And this time he's allowed to go to the side and take on board some liquid while the court has been mopped of the perspiration. Oh, surely. Match point opportunity and an opportunity to win his fifth China Open title. Good attack in play, good cross angle, forces Lindan out of position. Extraordinary, seemed to be off balance, seemed to be out of position. Yeah. But still, Lin Dan able to hit the winner. Match point number six.
Ernest. Well, that's great battling play from Chen Long. He's in all sorts of trouble there. Managed to fight his way out of it. And at the end, Lindan getting that all wrong. All off balance there. We can see it from the way he's landed. Yeah, even he can't believe that. That was an anxious look at the Lions judge as well. Seventh match point. converts 26 24 having won the first 21 17 and for Lindan abroad it's by Xie Feng his fifth China Open title regains the title the last year was won by this man Chen Long Well, when you consider he was 1914 up, then Dan looked to be in control. But what fighting spirit by Chen Long. In the end, to no avail. Their confirmation of the victory for Lindan, his fifth China Open title, 21-17, 26-24 in 47 minutes of play. Five finals panned out this afternoon. Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang won their fifth Premier Super Series event of five. The Grand Slam in badminton terms for the world champions. And then women's singles came to an abrupt end and a walkover being given to Wang Yi Han when Wang Xin retired injured. And it was men's doubles and Boa Morgensen, the former world number ones, defeating Go and Yu for the fourth consecutive time. And then mixed doubles and the world champions, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei, winning their second title in two weeks to add to the Hong Kong Open against the Danes. And as we've just seen in the men's singles, Lin Dan reigning supreme. Needed seven match point opportunities, so to close out the match and defeat last year's champion Chen Long. Well, we've got the prize presentation for the men's singles coming up. And it has been a great tournament as we see the defeated finalist Chen Long, champion 12 months ago but he was beaten by a better man today yes he was, Lindan looks back, looks back to fitness looks in good shape now probably entering the final phases for his Olympic preparation now 
Well, Lin Dan won this title in 2003, 2004, 2008, 2009, and now again in 2011. second premier win of the year having won the first the Korean Open and now the last the China Open. Well, Chen Long's had a great year. Five finals, four titles. This is sixth title of the year from eight finals. Of course, both these men qualify for the Super Series finals. Top eight in all five disciplines qualify for the prestigious Super Series Finals. So they will pose for the photographers. And the champion once more. Now, well, the public address saying that concludes the medal ceremony for the men's singles, and of course, it concludes. All action from the leaning China Open for 2011. Lin Dan, well, he was superb last night against the world number one, Li Chongwei. There is our role of honor. Started with women's doubles and Wang Xiao Li and Yu Yang taking their 10th title of the year, their fifth premier event. Wang Yihan taking her sixth title of the year and her third premier. Then it was men's doubles and for Matthias Bo and Carsten Mogensen, the only non-Chinese winners today here in Shanghai. Then it was mixed doubles and Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei added to their Hong Kong Open title last week, the world champions in superb form against the Danes in the mixed doubles final. And as we've just seen in the men's singles, Lin Dan reigned supreme. Two